Hello and welcome to this video. Tonight I want to take care of this nice Corbin padlock from Esther Eploy. Here is the key. It's a 5 pin lock with uh, lots of ups and downs. Very nice. It's brand new. It works nice and smooth. Okay, first I want to pick it for you. All the way to the back. Did a click from five. Four, it was no click, this was just the pick um, slipped away from the warning. And here we are, it's open. Okay, next I wanna look at the pins, so I will open it up and and cut it. Okay, that will be the next step. So the lock is clamped up in the vise with the pins in the upward direction. So here are the, the key pins in this area and then the driver pins. And normally padlocks are constructed in a way that um, Holes are drilled from the from the top all the way to the plug and then the lock is pinned up and finally they close the holes with uh, with plugs and yeah that's uh, the next task to to find the plugs and I'll use a a punch and just hammer and see if I can uh, find the plug Ah, it seems to be a complete pla plate plate. Don't know if you can make this out. There is a surface, a shadow of a plate getting visible. Yeah, and I will continue to try to get this plate um, out of the body. Not sure how to do that. <clears throat> okay, so my plan is to take away the the plate and therefore I will see what happens if I drill a hole here. Maybe I can pull it out. So let's see. Looks like this. I drill a little bit deeper and it seems that I've accidentally uh, hit the first um, chamber. So you can see the spring. I will so disassemble the first stack now.
long time ago I learned to make tips of a drill bit with a bench grinder and now I tried to fix this broken drill bit and here is the result that's the tip how it looks like um, not perfect but I hope it will do the job okay so now let's continue So here are the guts at a glance, and there are only standard pins as drivers, and also the plug has nothing special in it. All the chambers are just smooth. I will quickly guide you through the individual stacks. So here is stack 1, nothing special, stack 2, nothing special except the crazy deformed spring, and that's because of my inability to find the right uh, place for drilling the second hole, and I had to force the spring out of it as uh, stack 3, stack 4, stack 5 and maybe remarkably is the fact that the driver pins have rounded ends as you can see so both ends are around and this decreases the security of the lock because if the shear line hits any portion of this rounded end the pin will probably find the shear line by itself, so it's easier to pick. Then we have the, the retaining pin here and the spring for the retaining pin. And this little pin that goes at the end of the, of the plug in this hole, oops. It's hard to fiddle it in by looking into the camera. All right, and that's a bypass protection. I think so. You cannot cannot uh, stick a tool in uh, the keyway in order to to bypass the lock. And then we have the housing itself. You can see here the two rods connected with the springs, and the two rods they end up um, at this area and go into the groove of the shekel and when you push in the plug and the end of the plug looks like this and when you turn the plug you move the these two pieces um, against the spring tension and the upper rod then frees the left part of the shekel and the lower part frees the right part of the shekel. So let's stick it in. Turn it and open.
Okay, and the last piece is the broken drill bit. Yeah, broke it uh, twice and made twice a new tip of it. Yeah, here is the um, surface, the end of the of the Bible, and that's the plate. Mm, I will think about um, a way to reassemble the lock and to somehow uh, fix it. One possibility would be to uh, threaten the, the chambers here and to use um, uh, screws, uh, set screws, but I don't know if there is enough uh, room here for the springs, the pins and the set screws as the uh, space of the plate is, is missing now. Um, also, if I look at the distance of the holes, uh, it might be not sufficient for, for, for threading them. So, I will think about it and then I'll be back. I had a very close look to the chambers of the plug again and I found that they are indeed modified. As you can see, they are enlarged on the right side while just smooth on the other side. And I think that's um, because you turn the plug clockwise when you open it and then the, uh, the driver pin might hang on the first uh, groove or on this edge here before it really reaches the shear line. So this should probably make picking a little bit harder. That's the new pinning situation of this padlock. From a previous video I have some spare pins left from a disassembled Abel's padlock. And so, and so I have put in a standard driver pin at position 1, spool at 2, 3 and 4 and a serrated at position 5. And as you remember all chambers in the Bible are threaded. And the set screws I have shortened a little bit. And yeah, now I will reassemble the lock and try to pick it again. Alright, so here is the beauty completely reassembled. Still working nice and smooth. And of course, I want to pick it. So I know pin 1 and pin 5 are no spools, so I will attack them first. So pin 1, pin 5, nothing, pin 1 again. I get some clicks here. Uh, 
start again. Light tension, click from pin 1, go straight to pin 5, and get a little turn on the core. Maybe that's good for set now to start searching for a spool. Here I think I'm on pin 4, and the feedback from, from the spools is not really good, so it there is first no feedback and then it uh, it sets uh, yeah it suddenly sets then so <laughs> now here I'm on pin I don't know pin three I think I think the the spools and together with the threading in the in the chambers of the Bible are very very nice. Hmm. Ah, okay, get feedback from two. So you get a little bit of feedback and then it stops. Okay, hopefully I got it. No, I don't think so. I think maybe I've overset pin 2. I will release tension. Ha! And open. <laughs> okay, nice picking. I mean, a nice pick. Um, yeah, so that was the Corbin as the Eploy picked, uh, got it, improved, reassembled, and repicked. Thanks for watching. Happy picking. Bye bye. All right, so that is the end of my video, and this is also the last video in the year 2015. I wish you all a happy new year and happy picking in 2016. Happy New Year! Good night, Jan! Good is Neues! Good is Neues, Jan! Kikariki!